G'day everyone. Um, last night I done uh, some blooms and I recorded, this is uh, the dried piece from last night. You can see it has dried absolutely beautifully. No cracking, no nothing. Um, after I finished filming these ones, and I don't think I'd done, I ended up doing five pieces, and I don't think I'd done all five on film. Uh, I posted them on Facebook, but I also done one that I named Sailor's Delight, um, which was red and gold. And as you can see, they have dried great as well. And um, I've had a lot of people requesting a video for this one. So I thought I would get in and do a video. Um... The slightly little small indentations in here are nothing to worry about. The moment you resin them, they become non-existent. And I resin all my pieces, so it's um, pretty well null and void. Um, I think I showed on one of my other videos a few that I had resined. Um, I'll show this one. This one here, here, I know, had the indentations as well. And it, as soon as you resin it, like, the indentations have gone. So, hang on a second. Sorry about that, guys. My son uh, came home early from work and the dogs went uh, crazy. So, yeah, as I was saying, I've had um, a lot of people uh, would like to see... A video uh, with those colors so I thought right okay Oop, don't do that you silly woman um, I will get in and do that for you not a problem so that's what we're going to be doing tonight now it is the blend technique as you probably know if you follow my uh, channel and I use black house paint low sheen interior water-based and I just put that down now, all my paints are mixed with a pouring medium, which is made up of um, untinted house paint, low sheen, water-based interior. Also, the only difference between the two is this one's been tinted black and my pouring medium hasn't. Um, I mix that three to one with uh, Joe Sonia's Gloss Varnish and Cabalt's Cabothane Clear. So one part Joe Sonia's, one part Cabalt's and three parts of my untinted paint. I put that into a bottle and I mix that three to one with my um, colored paints. So this one is mixed three to one with that. Uh, Joe Sonia's paints, I tend to mix two to one with my pouring medium uh, because they're more fluid paint. And the deco art paints, I mix one to one because these are just, they're too liquidy. And this is the one we'll be using tonight, which is the Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. And we will also be using Amsterdam Napathol Red Deep. And these are the exact same colors that I used last night. Uh, and my CA is just um, Amsterdam Lamp Black with Floetrol. And that is mixed, uh, depending on how I want it, I'll mix it anywhere from one to one. The cat just knocks something down, I'm not sure what. One to one to four to one. Um, so it can be four parts to one part paint right up to one to one so yeah so tonight i think i mix it about three to one tonight so i hope that helps you guys all righty now just trying to remember pretty sure i put the gold down can you see the And the red. <coughs> Just 
just so it flows off in a nice consistency. Alrighty, we'll stick our gold down. Now, I don't go into as much detail on some of my videos, um, purely because I have subscribers that watch all the time and I think they get a bit annoyed. Um, and I have it all in my description also. So hang on a second, please. Yui, Jupiter, enough. And uh, yeah, but I do do it every few videos just so um, for the new subscribers, uh, they get they have the information available so they don't have to go, you know, I don't put it in every single one, like in detail, in wording, but it is in the description, but I will go into detail like I just did um, every few videos so that, that way if I get a new subscriber, they are able to see it and they can see what they've got to do. Alrighty, so now we blow. Absolutely loved these last night. They turned out absolutely gorgeous. I was um, on a roll and very, very tempted to, to keep going with other different colour palettes. But um, by the time I finished and sort of started packing everything up, it was um, getting close to 3am. So I'm like, okay, I better... When, like when I looked at the clock, I'm like, okay, I better just sort of call it quits and clean up and go to bed. So I did. And we just wait. Because when you blow, you'll get a divot in here. So you've just got to wait for your paint to come back in before you go tilting. Because otherwise your middle is stuck and it won't move. Um, if you wait for a little bit and it doesn't come back in um, or hasn't come back in as much as you would like you can help the process along by just gently uh, manipulating it on the top um, like this so just see little itty bitty bits and then you go the opposite way and just itty bitty bits and there now my center which is this bit which was the only bit left stuck it has now come off so I'm able to tilt it now and start getting the composition that I want please excuse my naughty dogs um, normally they're pretty good Jupiter enough already She tends to be uh, quite demanding, that little one. If I'm not in there with them when she thinks I should be, this is the reception I get. It's her pretty much telling me off um, to make me go in there. That's pretty much what she's doing. All right. I don't see many bubbles, but I'll give it a quick torch to do that before I tilted. Darn little guys distracting me. Okay, we'll go this side. I always go opposites. I find it just helps. Yes, here she comes. She's coming out now to sit at my feet because I won't go to her. Um, I, I just find it helps with my composition. It helps me... Uh, maintain it to what I like so 
sorry if I go off screen a little bit, guys. I'm, I've just um, set up a new recording device and I'm still getting used to where it's positioned. That and the um, tripod. So I'm just tilting it to how I want it at the moment. Bring it down a bit more. Yep. I am loving that one. There we go. Look at that. I'm so sorry about the light shine. I get it in my photos as well, but... There's really not a lot I can do about it. I've tried um, different angles and everything, and this is the best spot I've found that I get the less shine. But, yeah, unfortunately, this is what I've got to deal with. So that's that fella. Now, don't forget, when you finish your canvas, your tile your wood uh, panel, whatever it might be, to wipe underneath it, either with your fingers or with a stick or um, a palette knife or anything like that, just to get off your drips. Um, if you don't and you come back in half an hour to check on it, you'll find that the drips have dragged paint from your top off. So you'll lose a lot of what you originally had on the top. It will run off and... You can wreck many a um, project that way. So a nice little handy tip. Now, normally I would um, tape all my projects, but because I'm covering them with uh, cork, I'm not overly worried about it at the moment. I will tape them before I resin them, though. Um, purely because it's easier to get the resin drips off if there's tape. So, but because I cover it entirely with cork on the back to finish it, uh, a little bit of paint on there at the moment isn't an issue. So how you's all been anyway? I hope, um... those that have lost their jobs are maybe getting their work back again or or something like that okay now we'll blow When you're blowing, um, a little hint is don't blow directly down into your puddle. Try and sort of blow on like a, maybe a 45 degree angle. So you're sort of skimming across the top. And I find that way you don't put as big a divot and you have less chance of blowing right through your CA and your top paints to your base paint because that's what you don't want to do. So I just sort of skim skim it on maybe like a 45 degree angle when I do my blows. This is the part that um, most people find so challenging is the blowing. The, the mixing of your paints and stuff tends to be easier than um, the hardest bit is actually getting your blow right once you can nail your blow you have got this technique nailed it is just a matter of working on that in saying that don't lose heart if you don't get it you know um it it could take you a few months it might only take you a week you know everybody's different 
um, and don't lose heart if you don't get it in the first few tries or whatever just keep going keep practicing practice 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 and you will get it all right i'll just check to see that that's not stuck no all righty let's get to designing this beauty okay i'll take it down this way Now this way. Just want, that's it, the cells to go over and grab on that corner. Now I'm going to bring it back down. Let me have a look at it. Yeah, I'm going to stretch it more. I'm not happy with, with this. Now off this side more. And it will take a little while because the paint is getting a bit low on it. But I just want to... I want to try and grab it on this corner if I can. Grab some of these cells. If there's enough on there to let me. And then that way when I move it back it will stretch it more. And really open it up. It's getting there, nearly there. This one, some of them need a little bit more to get them to to where you want. Unfortunately, it, you know, it all depends on you as an artist out it as to how you want your composition. And yeah, I, just some of them just take a little bit more. Alrighty, and I think I am very happy with that. What do you guys think? I think it is gorgeous. So I just wipe under my edges. And that is number two down. Alrighty. Thank you guys very much for joining me. I hope that um, helped you. Anybody who might have been having issues. Um, I hope, hope that this has helped, um, and if not, I hope you just enjoyed watching those come to life. So thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for supporting my channel by watching um, my videos. Please leave comments. Feel free to leave comments. Um, I will answer. 
um, any comments and if you like what you see hit the like button please subscribe to my channel it's totally free and don't forget to hit your little notification bell to all so that way when I do a next video you'll get notified and you can watch it when you have the time alrighty guys thank you very much and I shall catch you next time bye for now